Alrighty folks, welcome. In this video we're going to look at the language CSS and how to add style to our websites. So after going over the, the lecture of you know, how does CSS work, what does it do, um, we're going to jump back into Notepad and we're going to start by opening up the file that we started with yesterday, the HTML page, and we're going to do a save as and save it as a CSS page. So if we come back into Notepad++, and we go under File, Save As, or Control Alt S. We're going to change the file name from your name hyphen HTML page to your name hyphen CSS page. Once we have that done, we'll change a few things in here. Notice that we have HTML appearing, and we'll change it to my first CSS page. and we should be pretty good with that. So in order to add CSS, there's a few ways to do it, but the way that we're going to look at is adding them inside of an HTML tag called the style tag. So underneath of our title, we're going to create a new HTML tag called style. And inside of this, we could put all of the CSS that we're going to use to style this page. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to take the entire body or the entire document that appears in the browser itself and I want to style that with a lightly colored background. So I'm going to type using the syntax of CSS, open with curly braces, and I'm going to say background. Now, we're using a format here of just typing the name of the color, but you could also get more specific and use RGB, um, RGB with alpha transparency, or something called hexadecimal. So let's go ahead and just save this, though. And if we come over to our browser, and we control O, we want to go find our your name hyphen CSS page. And you'll notice that the background color is, in fact, great. All right. So that is working for us. Now I want to go ahead and change some of the other elements here. And I noticed that I spelled CSS with too many S's. And now I'm going to take the actual title of the page up here, and I'm going to change it to white, just the color of the text. <clears throat> so here's how that would look. I'm going to select the H1 element. And inside of there, I'm going to say color white. And then when I flip back over and refresh my page, we'll find that now we have white for our header. OK, so that's what you need in order to get your B. In order to get the A, you're going to need to do about twice as much work as yesterday on your own in trying to figure out how to style the link for when it appears normally, when it appears um, hovered over, etc. So the code for this is to come down and we're going to select our A tag, which stands for anchor, which is used for links. And I'm also going to set this color. to white. So I have the color white for my anchor tag, and if I switch back over, notice that now we have this as white. So that wasn't too hard and very similar to the way we styled the, the header. But what I want to do now is when I hover over it, I want to change the color of the link. So to do that, we're going to use something, technically it's called a pseudo selector. And the syntax here is a little bit trickier, and this is why you're getting the A for figuring out how to do it. And notice the key difference is we say colon and then hover. And this is something that's built into CSS, and you just sort of have to learn that for links, you could say colon hover, and it will change it. And we're going to say on hover, let's make our links red. So now when I go back to page and I refresh it, and I hover over that link, notice how it turns red. 
So there you have it, some very basic CSS, but now you know how to change the background, how to change the color, and how to do a little bit of styling with links. Not quite sexy yet, but you know what? You're on your way to learning a new language, and your second language for your second day is not bad. So there you have it.